Welcome back, Black Rocketeers. Today we're going to be taking a first look at Slime Rancher 2. The original Slime Rancher came out or went on sale, I can't really remember, but either way I picked it up around the beginning of the COVID lockdowns and it was a great little casual, co uh, calm game, kind of just pick up and play. Um, nothing too in-depth or crazy about it, but a lot of fun. So really ex excited to check out Slime Rancher 2. So without any further ado, let's take our first look at Slime Rancher 2. We're going to start off our new game with all the, um, just the basics. I'm going to leave the tutorials enabled, even though I've played Slime Rancher 1, just in case there's anything new about this game that we might want uh, to be alerted of. I could change my slime as well. Let's go with this guy. He's funny. Uh, just so we have a different save icon. So a lot of things that we liked about the original Slime Rancher, really just calm, kind of casual gameplay, uh, not a crazy in-depth story. You got some emails here and there that kind of gave some backstory. Uh, this one looks like it's going to have a little bit of backstory, but I'm sure, again, similar to Slime Rancher 1, not going to be anything too in-depth. So it looks like we got a new island to go to. We've explored the other one. Yada, yada, yada. This one looks beautiful. Again, the color scheme, color palette, all looking very similar to the original game. Um, music and sound effects, all very just relaxing. A new island to go to. New adventure begins. Kind of what I expected to see so far. Uh, just a note that this game still is in early access. It was released um, only about a month or two ago. So there definitely could be some changes that come up, but I think the basic gameplay mechanics will probably remain the same. All right, so we're starting off in what looks like a bit of a conservatory here, big old tree right down the middle. And I'm seeing some ranching plots here that can be, oh, this one's already built for us. I like that. Um, Looks like they can be built up. Let's start grabbing our slimes here. So we use our little vacuum tool here, pick up the slimes, right click to grab and left click to shoot. And it looks like that star is oops, probably going to be our tutorial. Yep, look, it's telling us what to do here. Uh, so we kind of encage or ranch our slimes and then we want to, was that it? Yep, that's a chicken right there. A little chickadoo. We want to feed them and when we feed them, they will expel, for lack of a better term, ports, which are the little crystals that come out that we can collect and sell. So let's plop a couple more in here and let's see if we have, I'm gonna go to the other side because I do have a chickadoo and we can raise chicken. Let's go all the way, as far away as we can because the slimes will make quick work of the chickens. Let's see, this is how we make a corral. Let's see if we can make a coop. We can make a coop, 250 points. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna put our chickadoo in here. And what this will allow us to do is it will allow us to raise chickens. And there's another one over there. And this looks like an adult hen. And you can see it tells us right there that our pink slimes would be more than happy to snack on those. But if we put a couple of them in here, we'll actually get, um, more chickens and we can kind of get a little food income system going because a lot of what this game is going to be is uh, delivering food to our slimes so getting food from out in the world and delivering it here so inner base pretty much what we what i expected there's our marketplace right there a little home right there you go in there you can update some stuff and check emails things like that uh, it kind of pushes the story along a little bit but we want to jump out into the world and we want to start exploring so it looks like this is kind of funneling us in here and we have our lights and anybody who has followed any of our videos before knows perfectly well lights are how any game developer guides you along so if you see lights somewhere even a lit up um, portion of a map it's usually the developer the game designer level designer kind of pushing you in the right direction and we teach a lot of that at our uh, Black Rocket camps and level in their level design camps. All right, so we have carrots and pogo fruit. 
And these pink slimes have a diet, and if I go over them, you'll see up at the top, fruit, veggie, and meat. So pink slimes will eat just about anything, which makes them very versatile and a great way to start this game out. And since I already have a couple in there, I don't want to get any more, but I do want to grab these guys. These are new. I have never seen... Whoa, drop it on my head. Cotton slimes. So we got these little bunny slimes here. Let's grab a couple of them. I'm going to go with three for now. Three is a good starting number. And what we will do with them is we'll bring them in and we'll place them in the same pen as the pink slimes. And when we feed them, you can see right here, we'll feed them and they will release uh, cotton plorts or pink plorts, depending on which ones we feed, either the pink slimes or the cotton slimes. And if the other type of slime eats it, it will turn into one of these, a Largo. So here we have a cotton pink Largo. And the benefit of that is when we feed a Largo, they will actually deposit both plorts of their original um, mutations. So their uh, starting entities, we'll say. Uh, so we'll get two of them. So this guy, if we feed him, we can actually do it right now. Let's see if he's hungry. There we go. And he'll pop out boop, two plorts. So we have here a cotton port and a pink port. And if another pink slime eats this cotton port, he'll turn into a Largo as well. And you can see our cotton port. Looks like he's making his way over. He might be going for that pink. There we go. There, a mutation. Man, a lot going on right now. There's a mutation right there. So we want to get those guys actually back at our base. That'll uh, start producing the most ports for us and getting us the most money, the most bang for our buck when we feed these guys. So I'm going to creep, keep grabbing some food, and I did spot something new over here. This little guy here. Research drone. Here we are again. Setting out drones. So we're this place All right, so a little hint at what is to come, but uh, didn't really tell me much there. So this is new. What are these guys? Uh, upgraded resource harvester. So that looks like water. It's a little green for water, but water all the same and i know our character cannot swim that water looks like it's calling your name but you will not enjoy yourself if you jump in there uh lots of chickens they're giving us a lot those are really good too uh, that's another type of fruit right there but i can't pick it up cuberry uh but i only have four spots down below and i do have a bunch of chickens that i want to get going so we'll leave that for now get some more carrots going here and it looks like we're filling up most of our tanks. We have some new slimes to work with. Ooh, this is a new area. We could jump across there, but I'm going to leave, hold off on that. Let's start making our way back. So the uh, basic game mechanics to this seem very similar to the original Slime Rancher. And I apologize if I call it Jolly Rancher or Jelly Rancher, because I cannot stop doing that for some reason. But it is Slime Rancher. So, since we have all of this stuff, let's head back to our original base. Basically, what you do is you head out, collect new stuff, new slimes, more food, um, new materials, and then you head back, kind of rebuild uh, standard RPG-style gameplay. So we'll head back here, and I'm going to fire these cotton tails, cotton slimes, right in here. And then the cottons are vegetarians, so I will feed them carrots. And if you target them directly when they're hungry, they will eat whatever you shoot directly at them. And it'll keep it from getting eaten by anybody else. And then we should get these pink slimes. It should be pretty. There we go. Get our pink slimes that are pretty hungry, and they are going to mutate. And then we can... Uh, it looks like they are not hungry. That guy's hungry. So he'll shoot out a pink and a cotton and our cottons will eat the pinks and our pinks will eat the cottons and we should get a whole bunch of cotton pink largos and then i just keep firing the food out here boop, 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 boop. i love the little sound effects in this game they're just i mean so easy listening style um sounds So this guy looks like he's not very hungry. But we'll put out some of this stuff here. Let's go build up my chicken coop. And the pink slimes love chickens. So we'll put a couple of hens in there. And there's, there is a limited number. I 
can't remember exactly what it is. You can check in the Slimepedia and it'll give you the perfect numbers, how many in each area. They will, uh, slimes get a little angry when they get cramped and the chickens, the hens will stop producing if they get too cramped. So they'll produce chickadoos as I think I need a rooster in there as well, which I don't have. So, but for right now, those are, it's just kind of containment until we find some slimes that only eat meat. And once we find those guys, then we'll have to feed them the chickens. But since right now, these guys eat both, I'm going to fill this up so they are never lacking. There's another little chick, uh, chickadoo. And I can't remember if the slimes will eat a chickadoo, but I know they will eat them when they're full grown. So we'll put him in there so he can get full grown. And now what we do is we collect any plorts that these guys are not eating. So it looks like just about, yep, every one of them is full size. So they'll stop eating plorts now. And you can see it tells us right there. Oh, I accidentally grabbed a Largo. Uh, Largos cannot be pulled into your vac tank like traditional. There's a couple more in here. Got it. They cannot be pulled into your vac tank like traditional slimes can. So you will need to, if you need to move them around, you have to move them around one by one. So it doesn't really make sense to try and grab them from the world and bring them back here. It's really just easier to mutate them in here. Grab the slimes and bring them in here. Uh, all right, a couple of bucks there. And, well, that was it for the tutorial. So not a whole lot new on the tutorial. I did see this on my way out, though. It looks like our research base. Let's see what this has to offer. Mm -hmm. Mysterious boat. Turn the display on. Good to see ya. Yes, very nice. I think this guy gives us tasks. Mysterious boat. Blah, blah, blah. Mysterious code. All right. Yellow. Oh, nice. So he's giving us some stuff for the fabricator. Easy. All right. Nothing left to do for him for right now. So let's go ahead and head out into the world. Uh, really what I want to look for right now, I'm going to push myself a little bit further. Normally I'd kind of just start, uh, stay right here, keep updating that. I will grab food as I go. But uh, I want to see if there's anything new that we can find. So I'm going to push myself past a lot of this. Really, ideally right now, what I'd be doing is collecting food, making some money, and really getting um, my ranch back up and running. Oh, these guys are having a time over here. And we do have the day and night cycle as we had in the last game. Oh, some phosphor slimes. I do like phosphor slimes. Let's grab a couple of them. I'll ditch them if we find something cooler later on, but we don't have any phosphor slimes back at the base, so we'll hold on to those guys now. And the more, the rarer or more unique that your slimes are, uh, almost always is the more valuable the plort is. So pink plort is worth basically nothing, so let's get rid of that. And I'm actually gonna get rid of that hen because there are a whole bunch of chickadoos right here. And if I grab them, I can bring them back. What do we got here? Ooh, little map opened up that area of the map. So what do we have so far? Uh, it looks like we got a little something off to the right of our base. I haven't seen either one of these. We came straight out the front. So we got something off to the right, something behind, and something to the left as well. And then a lot pushing forward here. And it looks like this, uh, what we're in right now, is going to go to the left. So when we get back, well, I will remind myself. I will most likely forget. But that, oh, it looks like... Those look like uh, ranch plots. So very similar to the other game, you could expand your ranch basically out. So those actually might be behind a paywall, um, not an obnoxious monetary paywall, but a coin based paywall, something you can actually get through the gameplay. Nothing worse than getting mid game and realizing they're asking for more money for features of the game. But uh, yeah, I'll probably have to upgrade my coins and those are usually quite expensive kind of later. Um, Use later into the game. Refinery links. Uh, these look like they're new. I don't remember these from the last game. Uh, I don't currently have a refinery or any plorts, but it looks like I can shoot my plorts into this. And then, oh, another map update. 
Let's see if we can get up there. Uh, it looks like I can shoot my plorts into that and then use them to update stuff. So it looks like we can use it in-game, which would be nice because a lot of times you fill these vac tanks very quickly and you're out in the map and uh, sometimes you get a little further from your base and it is nice to have somewhere to drop things off. So that was that could be a pretty cool addition to the game. Uh, I'm loving the map and the design and the colors and the... Oh, nice. A little cave and a little secret. What do we got here? Getting myself distracted. There's too much to find. Emerald Cypress. Do, do, do. They're just tough and won't make you... They're just leaves, though, and won't make you rich. Interesting. All right, so it looks like I can grow a tree, but it's not going to do anything for me. So I don't know why I want to do that, but we'll look into that stuff later. Um... The one of the things that I really liked about the original game big time was the just the amount of things to find. I mean, you walk out into the world and you think you've seen it all in your first run through. And then each time you come, there is some new little corner, some new little cave, just like what we just found back there. Here's a Gordo right here. But you really find these different little crevices and secret hiding spots. And those little uh, pods are hidden all over the place as well. So the game has a lot of replayability. And even when you think you've really seen it all, you kind of just keep going and you just keep getting more and more and more. And, um, you know, even the original places that you've checked out, they find a way to really craft things in there, you know, hide little areas, whether it's through elevation like that over there or just little corners, different angles to approach things. So really worth exploring, finding everything that you have and getting an idea, kind of getting that map locked down. Anyway, so this is a Gordo. And if you don't remember from the first game, Gordos are big old guys here and you basically have to feed them. So whatever they are. So this is a pink, so he will eat anything. So I'm going to fire him up with food and we're just going to go nuts on this guy here. So we got all of our carrots and let's see if we can pop him with our pogos. He's getting big, getting big. Come on. Got him. Wow, we had exactly the right number of um, pogo fruits for him. Our back tank is completely empty. But those Gordos are almost always, oh, excuse me, they are always hiding something underneath, either a key or something like that. And it looks like this guy was hiding some water. All right, he was hiding a water jet, which blasted me up here. And I literally had just said how they managed to hide things in the game, like at different heights. And here is a perfect example right here. So we're now up on a second level with a chicken. And since I used up all my food, I got more chicken space. And we have this looking thing. It looks like some sort of button. Let's go ahead and hit that and see what happens. Whoa. Drops in. Oh, look at that. We have a doorway opening over there. And a giant explosion portal looking thing. <gasps> and we have some sleepy cats. What's this guy? This guy might be a gold. We need to grab him. Oh, he's a lucky slime. I think we, what do we do with these guys? I think we feed him. And he gives us a bunch of coins, right? Ooh, I don't remember from the last game. It looks like it. Yeah, he gave me a bunch of coins. So I guess that's it. Well, we did that, so. A bunch of phosphor ports. I definitely want to grab those. Anyway. Alright, so we definitely or we have our portal here, which can push us even further into the game. And you know what? I'm gonna go for it right now. Let's oh there's something behind it. I missed it. That's all right. So we're gonna push ourselves even further. Again, if this was really my first run through, I'd be going back to the base, getting some of my phosphor slimes in there, selling off what I have right now and upgrading that base, but I want to see as much of this uh, as we can get to this early on. So let's keep on pushing and see if we can find some more fun, cool stuff. A lot of food up in these trees, pogo fruit, a lot of pink slimes, phosphor slimes. It is nighttime right now. So these phosphor slimes, if everything goes like Slime Rancher 1, the phosphor slimes are gonna disappear during the day. And we got some tabbies. Uh, we actually have a tabby plort that I must have picked up earlier. Uh, but tabbies are little cats, and those can mix with any of our slimes. And here's a new guy. It looks like a... Ooh, 
He's riding the jet up. It looks like an angler fish, and it is an angler slime. And he's gonna, let's see, is he a meat eater? Oh yeah, he's a meat eater. He just snacked on that um, chicken down there. So I've had enough of my phosphor slimes. This angler slime looks really cool. Let's grab a couple of those. These look like they're gonna be fun. So I am gonna grab some angler slimes. Uh-oh. And now we have a tar slime, and I forget exactly what the combinations are to make a tar slime. Um, it's when a slime eats maybe the wrong kind of plort or another plort. I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, I don't think they'll eat anything that made them. So if you have like a tabby pink, they won't eat tabby or pink plorts. But if you put a third one, oh, well, these guys are angry. Oh, yikes. Feral. They're angry because they're hungry. And I got no food for them, so they're just going to stay angry for now. Let's push through them real quick, though. Those are feral slimes. See what else we got going on here, and then I'll... I got to start working my way back pretty soon. Since I'm all full up on my vac chamber down there. Uh, so this water uh, looks like it's going to be important. I don't remember water from the last game. Could be mistaking, but... Uh, yeah, there's our ferals. All right, where else do we have to go? Can I jump this? Yeah, yep. Whoa, here's something new. What are the... Or is that just a pink swimming around? Maybe it's anglers? Because anglers are fish. Maybe they can swim. That guy looked like he was swimming really well, though. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Anglers, yeah. So we got anglers in the water here. The waterfall. Oh, a rock. There's a rock, uh, rock slime. And they're vegetarians. I didn't see what anglers eat. Anglers are meat eaters. All right, so they're going to be the ones we're going to feed with all these chickens. But let's head back to our original ranch. And there are often... I don't have any spots for chickens right now. There are often portals as you get further in that will take you back to your ranch. So you don't have to memorize your way back. And I didn't memorize my way back, so I'm just guessing right now. I do remember passing the ferals, though. And keep on cruising, keep on cruising. I think I need to go up here. If I'm not mistaken. I think I am mistaken, though. Oh, boy, I'm lost. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, can I access the map? I can access the map. And it looks like I need to keep heading this way, according to the map. So M brings up the map for you. In case you're wondering how to do that. And there's the portal that I came in on. So we'll take that back. But a lot of times you will find portals further in the game. And they'll take you back to select spots. Making travel a little bit faster. But for now, we're going... Uh, we're just going to have to hoof it the old-fashioned way. So straight ahead. Actually, you can see the conservatory right there. And they did put, looks like a little beacon above it. So they got that little bit of yellow coming up from it. The little light. Which gives you an idea that you are headed in the right direction. So right over there. Whoa, not into the water. And no, they don't like sending you into the water. We got a lot, I mean... I know it's called Slime Rancher, but there are a lot of slimes out here. I don't remember there being this many. Just kind of every Look at them everywhere. There's my conservatory. All right, so we'll get back, and we are going to try and... Uh, we'll see if we can sell some stuff and make a new pen. But I would like to pen in my anglers. I don't think they can fly. But I do not want them jumping the walls and heading out and messing around with my chickens that I'm trying to raise. So let's see. It is $2.50 for a corral. I do have quite a few plorts here. Got some phosphor plorts and some tabbies. And uh, the market tells you what they're worth. So you can see my phosphor is $29. Uh, my, ooh, phosphor is actually more than angler. Should have kept my phosphor slimes. Uh, we have, looks like crystal over here, rock down there. But it does kind of work like a stock market, so they will change. 
So sometimes it benefits to uh, actually hold on to your plorts. We got just enough to make a new ranch over here. And again, I'm putting it as far from my, or corral. Yes, I'm putting it as far from my other one as possible because they can jump the walls. And if they jump the walls and, oh, well, that guy just launched right out of the wall. Um, I hope these guys don't need water. They were jumping around on the ground out there, but there are, um, what slime was it? Puddle slime, water slime, some sort type of slime. Actually had to live in water and you had to build a special corral for it. And we did not just do that, so I hope those guys don't need water. But they definitely need food. So let's feed them. There he goes. And he is gonna pop out. There's an angler plort for me. So what I can do, uh, see one of them jumped the wall. If you have too many of them in one space, they will jump the wall because they basically bump into each other too much or he just launches out. So you may have to um, lower your numbers. A Couple of ways to do that. You can fire them out into the water, kind of off your ranch or you can send them out into the wild um, on their own. Let's get chicken. Let's get a couple of others though. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, you know what? I don't need others. I can just grab plorts. I forgot that my other guys are producing plorts. So since these guys over here are producing cotton and pink plorts, I can actually feed these to my anglers and I'd like to make some angler cotton plorts. The pinks are great, super easy and you can feed them anything, but they will not, um, they never, oh, what was that? They never make a whole lot of money for you. The pink plorts are usually pretty low in value. So you'll get a lot of them, but not getting a lot of value out of it. But now we have our cotton so they can eat meats and veggies. So updating that diet. And then anytime we feed them, they'll actually make uh, one cotton and one, what are they, anglers? And one angler. So we'll sell our pinks off. We will sell our cottons off. And you can see pink eight, really, really not a whole lot to that. So moving away from pink, I mean, maybe if you have pink with something with a really special diet that's hard for you to get, it would make sense to um, get some pink guys going just so you can get those more expensive plorts um, easier because you can feed a pinks anything. But you really don't, you know, you don't need a whole bunch of early on pink plorts because they're not getting you a whole lot. There's my angler making me quite a few bucks. And I'll grab a couple of chickens. We got a couple of extras here. A little couple of, they're called hen hens. And we're going to put them in here. And just when these guys are ready, they will snack on them. There you go, gentlemen. Snack away. And they're shocking each other with their, I guess that's what they do. But they'll eat those, and as long as they're happy, uh, they shouldn't be bouncing around too much. You can see my pink guys in here are getting hungry, and they are all eyes on this hen. Go ahead and feed them in here. Uh, there's still a lot of fruit over here. It must be trapped in the corner, and they can't get to it, so let's move them around a little bit. There we go, but a lot of food for them still. Sell off these plorts. And we have cotton. And we have some chickens that we'll put in here. So that'll just about do it for our first look at Slime Rancher 2. Uh, pretty much exactly what I was expecting and exactly what I was hoping for. We have all the basic elements of the original Slime Rancher. You start off with your little ranch here. Basically head out into the world, start collecting, start making money. Uh, some of the processes can be a little bit um, automated. So we do have our high walls, our air net, we have a solar shield, so it looks like we're getting some night, oh, probably for the phosphor plorts, uh, plort collector and all that good stuff. And it looks like we have a lot, I'm hoping, all these little spots here are open for more updates and upgrades, things like that. A lot of areas we have not explored yet. Again, I told you we'd go left, back and right, but we'll have to save those for future videos. So if you were interested in this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to like and subscribe to Black Rocket Productions and leave us a comment down in the uh, comments 
section below on what kinds of things you want to see, want to see us explore, want to see us do, maybe even some plorts you want to try out, mixing, or excuse me, some slimes you want to try out, mixing up different slimes. But that'll do it for us for today, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time here at Black Rocket Productions.